So adjustment number five, unpaid salaries 800. What is unpaid? Unpaid means you don't pay your employee yet. So that's not good, yeah? That's not good. So unpaid means you're not paid. So in future, you're going to pay. You need to pay. Need to pay. So this will be your payable. Payable. Payable is your liability. Liability. So since you have not recorded this item, your salary will also increase. Your salary expense will also increase by 800. Salary expense, you're going to add by 800 expense. And your liability, you're going to add by 800. Liability, you're going to add by 800. Okay. So for your liability, increase in liability, credit. Increase in expense, debit. Your expense, you're going to debit. Your liability, you're going to credit. Okay. Let us go to the... Let us go to the trial balance here. How much is your salaries expand? You go down here, you find your salaries expand is 75,000. This is the amount you already paid. And you have another 800 that you need to pay. So this will increase your expenses. 75,000, I'm going to add by another 800. So this is debit to increase. I'm going to debit 800. So this gives me the new value of salaries expand 75,800. This is the shortcut. Other than open the account, you can do adjustment using this. Okay. So it's going to be debit, debit. So that's why you have 75,800. So this is debit 800. 75800 seven, okay and then what happened to the liability we have salaries people here i'm going to put liability of 800 so you have your liability here 800 that is your liability 800 then yeah? credit credit mean your liabilities so the answer will be very easy. You're going to debit salaries expand debit 800 and you're going to record salaries people. People is your liability. Anything with people is liability credit by 800. You can have a very specific account salaries people Electricity payable, wages payable, payable mean liability. Payable mean liability. So this is unpaid salaries. You need to record the salary. You need to add your salary. You need to add your liability. You need to add salary and you need to add your liability. Let us go to number six. Interest expense not yet paid three thousand. You have you borrowed money from the bank. You need to pay interest, but you have not yet paid the interest amount amount to three thousand dollar. So this is your expense. Your expense increase. You need to increase your expense by three thousand. Not yet paid mean your liability. So your liability will also increase. Your liability increase. So you are going to credit your liability. Your expenses also increase. So you're going to debit your expense. I repeat again. You have interest expense, but you don't yet pay, pay the, 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 to the bank. The amount is 3000 So your interest expense, you need to increase your Expand. Your expand increase mean debit. So this is your expand. Increase in expand. Increase in expand. This one is increase in your liability. Increase in your liability. So the answer will be 
debit interest expense debit by 3000 and your interest payable you can put here interest payable credit by another 3000 so this is the adjustment and you're going to you'll be tested on this during your midterm during your midterm. so in your account later on you will have this interest expand where is your interest expand 3000 you already have 3000 so i'm going to put another 3000 so the new balance will be 6000 6000 the new balance will be 6000 and interest payable this is 3000 i'm going to credit the interest payable 3000 so my balance of interest payable is 3000 okay Check your try balance. You already paid three thousand interest expense, so you're going to add another interest expense three thousand. So your total interest expense for that year is six thousand. Yeah, six thousand. This is your your expense. Whereas your payable before this is zero, you credit three thousand. So the balance here is three thousand. The balance here is three. 3,000. The balance in your adjusted trial balance. Okay. And finally, is unearned revenue amounted 9,000 was now earned. What does it mean? Unearned revenue. Unearned revenue is a payment received by you for a service that you should provide in the future. So unearned revenue, for the time being, you recognize this as your liability. When you provide the service, when you provide the service or you send the goods to your customer, then you're going to recognize that as your revenue. So you're going to reduce your liability and then you're going to increase, we're going to increase our revenue, our revenue, we're going to increase our revenue so unearned is liability unearned is liability reduce mean debit so that's why we debit liability reduce debit your revenue this is our revenue increase mean oh sorry, sorry. revenue is also here yeah revenue here so this is for a revenue so I'm going to credit your revenue account. So the answer will be unearned, unearned revenue debit by 9,000 and my revenue accounts, my credit by 9,000. By 9,000. Yeah. Reduce in liability, increase in revenue. Reduce in liability, increase in revenue. So let us go to the to the oops to the worksheet to the worksheet. So I'm going to adjust my add and revenue. I have here twelve thousand. I'm I will debit nine thousand. So the balance will be three thousand. Balance will be three thousand. And I'm going to credit my revenue by nine thousand. So my revenue nine one zero nine. Okay. Okay. So this is the process. What happened to other items? Okay. For cash, debit ten thousand. No adjustment. So the balance will be ten thousand. Yeah. For account receivable is 30,000 debit, no adjustment. So I'm going to put here 30,000. Okay. Then account payable 16,000, no adjustment credit. So I'm going to put here credit 16,000. For loan payable, no adjustment 50,000 is going to be 50,000. Capital, no adjustment. Credit, so I'm going to put here 
192,000. Drawing, debit, no adjustment. So I'm going to put here drawing 8,000. For electricity expense, 14,000, no adjustment. I'm going to put here 14,000. For rent expense, yes, 34,000. So I'm going to put here 34,000. Yeah? Uh, sir, could you please... For unearned revenue, for unearned revenue, before this, we have 12,000. This is our liability, 12,000. Then we debit, reduce the unearned revenue, we debit 9,000. Okay. Credit and debit mean minus. Credit, 12,000. Minus debit nine thousand, so that gives you a credit balance of three thousand. Yeah, for your revenue before this, you already have one hundred thousand revenue credit, and then you credit another nine thousand, another nine thousand. So this gives you a revenue of one zero nine thousand. Yeah, one zero nine. So this is the process to prepare adjusted oh, professor? balance. Yes. Elect uh, electricity expense is 14,000 in adjusted trial balance. Electricity expense? Oh, sorry. It should be 14,000. Thank you. So this is the process. I did prepare a lot of exercises on Moodle where you're going to do this adjustment, yeah? We're going to do this, okay? So let me repeat again, how does this system work, okay? Originally, you will be given unadjusted tri balance. This is just an example of that. I can simply change the number, the items, and then you'll be given some adjustment here. In this example, you are given 10 adjustments. So from this adjustment, you need to do it slowly, take it one by one, adjust, for example, from supplies, repeat insurance, furniture, building, depreciation, yeah, unpaid salaries, interest expense, and revenue. So you take it slowly, one by one. Okay, always remember there's one item debit, another item will be credit. One item debit, another item will be credit. And then you put all the adjustment in this section. In this section. And then finally, you're going to calculate your adjusted trial balance. How to determine adjusted trial balance? If your original balance is debit, and then your adjustment is debit, when you're going to add. If your original balance is debit, but the adjustment is credit, mean you're going to minus. Debit and credit mean minus. Same goes to your credit. If your original balance is credit and you do adjustment, you did credit the account again. So credit and credit will increase the figure. So you're going to have a credit, higher credit balance. If you have a credit and debit, it means subtract. You need to minus the amount from the original balance and then for the item without any adjustment you just copy back the item for example in the cash for cash the debit balance is ten thousand there is no adjustment so i'm going to transfer that amount unadjusted amount to the to the adjusted trial balance that is ten thousand for account receivable thirty thousand I did transfer the 30,000 to adjusted tribal. So this is the process. The easiest way because you already close your account. You already close your ledger. You don't want to open back your ledger and then do this, this, this process. So to avoid doing that, so we come up with this worksheet. So it help you to save a lot of time. Otherwise, you have to do your to prepare your ledger account, your T accounts, and then do your trial balance. Okay, so your total debit should be equal with your total credit. So this will be the first part, the first part, the first part for you.